Alright, so welcome back to Bravely Default 2. Um, we're doing some side quests that are, you know, kind of give us a bit more backstory into characters and stuff like that. But I wanted to also um, max out the jobs that, you know, Gloria and Elvis, because they died during that last fight, which was really unfortunate. We also have a bunch of these things. <laughs> Give HP to Elvis, because clearly he needs it. Physical attack Adele, because we want her to be beastly. Magic attack is always Elvis. Restorative power is always Gloria. Evasion, this is where I don't really know who to give it to. Uh, it doesn't really matter, really. Maybe some to Elvis, some to Seth. And critical chance for... We've been giving it to Adele, so... Anyways, small JP orb. We're going to max out Solve Maker here. And we're going to max out Pictomancer. Because we actually have two things I want to turn them in. I'm going to turn Elvis into an Oracle. And I'm going to turn Gloria into... Um, Spirit Master? I don't know what I'm going to turn... <sighs> I don't know what I want to make um, Seth, though. Could make him a sword master, but... Oh, decisions, decisions. Alright, she's definitely going to be a spirit master. This is what I've decided, so that's done. I'll have to figure out her equipment, too. But Elvis is going to be an oracle. Um... I don't know what I want to make Adele into. I'm thinking a ranger. That might be interesting. Alright, we'll make her a ranger for now. Which means we'll have to switch her equipment. And you will be a sword master as the main job. And I don't think I want berserker. We'll make this a sub job. Shield master. Okay. Oh, that's looks... That's actually a really nice outfit on him. Look at that. How fancy. Alright, which now means we need to switch up some equipment here. Wait, what does fast hands do again? Yeah, speed reductions caused by equipment in either hand become speed bonuses. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Um... I don't know if there's anything better. What is no guts, no glory? Oh, that's not great. All right. So we need we need equipment here. Um, okay. So we got to give him a sword. A defender, maybe? That's 74 attack. Yeah, I think defender is the one we want. But we don't want to use a shield, because that's D. Double defender? No, we can't do it. <laughs> our physical attack actually does go up, but every our stats go all down way too much. What if we just unequip the shield? And see what happens here. We try to equip anything. Anything increase our attack? No, I don't think so. There's probably no shield that's worth equipping. Uh, actually, the Gaia shield. Yes, Gaia shield it is. All right, there we go. So he's good. Um, oops, wrong button. Now, she shouldn't be using double knives. Like, that's that's silly. So we'll remove these. And we'll give her... Jade Crozier? Or a Rod of Ice? Uh, magical attack, 58. Water attack, do 30%. There's no restorative power on that one. We need restorative power, so... Jade Crozier. You can't equip two Jade Crozers. Oh, it's overloaded anyway. I can't really equip anything else on her. Uh, 
I think that's perfectly fine. It's just at the weight she needs, so... Now, Elvis... Oh, nothing is really good on him, surprisingly. I guess we'll keep the Jade Crozier on him. And now for her, she's got to use a bow. The Great Bow, I think. 104 physical attack. Alright. So that'll work. Alright, so that's our party. Those are our parties now. Okay. So we have a few people we need to talk to, because we were going to do the uh, picture contest with Adele and Gloria, the painting contest. Let's go check out what comes of that. Alright, let's get to work. You ready? I think so, yes. But what are we going to paint? Yeah, good question. Hey, Sailor Boy, come model for us. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. Strike a pose, kid. I'm about to make you famous. Uh, okay. I like how Seth isn't even wearing the armor of the job he's so currently equipped in. you learned how to paint back when you were growing up at the palace, huh? Uh, did they have a famous artist come teach you or something? No. Actually, Sir Sloan was my teacher. What? Wow, that's not what I expected to hear. He was no professional, of course, but he really was rather talented. He often painted the views from the palace, and when I saw him at work, I knew I wanted him to teach me. Wow. Stop! You mustn't move! Huh? Oh, sorry. Hmm... She's really into this, which means my plan is working. <sighs> How much longer? Poor Seth. <laughs> and I'm done. Yes, that ought to do for me as well. So, I can move now? Yep. Why don't you come take a look at what we made of you? I'm afraid I'm rather rusty. It's certainly not my best work. Let's see. Whoa, Gloria, this is amazing! I think you might have made him look a little cooler than in real life, but yeah, that is pretty good. Let's see yours, Adele. Uh... It's, um... It's certainly unique, but this one's a clear win for Gloria. Sorry. Hey, I'm a little rusty myself, you know. And what am I supposed to do with a model like you? I'm not a miracle worker. Oh, so it's my fault now? No, it's just... I'm more of a landscape artist, you know? Yeah, show me some good scenery and I'll blow your mind. Well, we have plenty of paint left. Perhaps we should find somewhere with a nice view and see what we can come up with. Not for competition's sake, you understand. I'd simply like to try. Oh, it is on. Time for round two. The landscaping. Let's find us that view. The landscaping. <laughs> well, at least they're having fun. I think that was the whole point. Anyways, let's talk to uh, Elvis, although he looks like the Archbishop now. You clobbered some kind of giant bear-like beastie, is it? Hmm. Nah. Can't have been. Can't have been what? Well, there's a legend we have, see, about a creature called the Moon Guzzler. And you're saying that's the monster which attacked us? You never know. The story goes that this whole area was once all green forests and grassland, and the Moon Guzzler was the scourge of just about everyone. The beast was insatiable, roaming the land, devouring anything and everything. Nothing and nobody was safe. The Lord of Dragons tried to reason with it, but to no avail. And when reason failed, he tried to drive it away by force. But the creature proved unstoppable. In the end, our Lord and Master had no choice but to exploit the beast's one weakness. The cold. And so the land was wrapped in snow and ice. That's how Rheindal and everything around it came to be how it is today. At least, that's what the legends say. And you really think the thing we fought was the monster from your story? 
Can't say for certain, but based on your description, I'd say it might have been. Could be that things thawing out a bit has brought the old beastie back. I mean, it was tough, but legendary monster tough? I'm not so sure. Well, it's only just woken up after a long old sleep, innit? Stands to reason it wouldn't be at its best. By the way, maybe now you got rid of it, a snow elk or two might come sniffing back around. Pop by next time you're in town. I might just have a roast for you that'll knock your socks off. Sounds good to me. We'll be here with bells on. In the meantime, I guess we'll have to settle for Alps wine, huh? Uh, we... well? Of course. We can't very well turn our noses up at the only thing on offer. Give me strength. Poor Elvis, after all that, he still has to eat the Alp swine. <laughs> all right, let's uh, check out the party chat here. A disconcerting delicacy. Ah, all that hard work and no snow elk to show for it. Well, there's always regular venison. I hate to break it to you, but snow elk is nothing like venison. It's not, but it's just deer meat, right? Well, no, actually, snow elk, despite the name, aren't deer at all. They look like them, but they're really a species of cow. A cow named after a type of deer? That's confusing. Wow, now I want to try it even more! And you know what's even more confusing? It actually tastes a lot like pork. You what? So it's a cow named after a deer that tastes like a pig. Yep, that's confusing, all right. Yes, it's a little hard to get one's head around. Look, the animal kingdom's complicated, okay? Things don't always fit neatly into little boxes. <laughs> Guess they really don't, eh? Yeah, makes you wonder what a moon guzzler would have tasted like. Chicken, maybe? Aye, could be. Ugh, I wish I had kept a leg or two to stick on the fire now. Uh, I'm kind of glad we didn't. <laughs> Well, he had to eat that Alp swine, so... Oh, look, he's got another little quest here with the little doggy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What's going on, Elvis? <coughs> oh, poor wee fellow's lost. If we can't come far, the way he must belong to someone here in town. Hmm. Maybe there's some place nearby. Aye, I thought the same thing. Nobody's come looking for him, though. And I'm only a pup and all. Where's your ma and your die? Let's go ask around. Somebody must know something. Well, odds are we're not going to be keeping this little puppy. Um. Okay. Sorry to bother you, but we found a wee stray. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know who he might belong to. Oh, not again. Sorry, the little rascal's forever running off. Hang on, that's not our dog. Course it's not. Ours is out running round the garden. What are you on about running round the garden? Poor thing only went and hurt its leg five minutes ago. Yeah, and then this nice lady came by and fixed it. I've never seen healing skills like it. Poof, just like that, and the little tyke was fixed. Yeah, she was a pro, and no mistake. And to think she didn't even stick around long enough for me to say thanks. Wanted to ask her how she came to know so much so young, I did. You don't see many like her, that's for certain. Easy on the eye she was, too. Bit stern looking, maybe, but in a captivating way, you know? <sighs> Quite unruling, are you? Sounds like you've given up on your actual wife. No, 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 love. Don't be silly. Can't a man appreciate a beautiful woman with some beautiful skills without. Are you trying to wind me up? One more beautiful out of your mouth, and I'll put my flipping foot in it. Um, seems you've a thing or two to be hashing out between you. Uh, we'll be getting along. <laughs> yeah, he was asking for Guess it. Guess that wasn't the wee one's home then. Still, it was only our first try. Don't worry, little one. We'll soon sniff out your ma and your da for you. Oh, 
almost sounds like he's asking us if we're sure. Listen to you, putting words in the poor pop's mouth. Less of that, with an owner to find. All right, let us find the owner. I wonder who that girl was that he was referring to, though. I wonder if it was Martha. Oh, they have a dog, too. Look. Hmm. Sorry to bother you while you're working, but... Back after all, is it? Good. I'm glad you've finally chosen to act like a grown-up. Oh, wait. Not who I thought it was. What can I do for you, then? We're trying to find out who Rover here belongs to. <coughs> Sorry, not mine. I ain't got a dog. <sighs> Something troubling you? Well, I took on this young bloke, see? But he up and left just like that. No experience, but strong as an ox. Took to the old smithing like a duck to water, he did. And what's more, he listened. Like, properly listened, you know? And I never saw such an hard worker. So there I was, egging him on, telling him he'd soon be the best for miles around. And then he goes and says it. Out of nowhere. Sorry, mate. I'd love to stay and learn more, but I've got things to be getting on with. There's someone who needs me. You know how it is. And just like that, he was gone. Honest hard workers like that don't come along often. Gutted, I was. Not here either, eh? Sorry, little... Eh? Where's the pop gone? He must have run off while we were talking. Ah, that's no good. Come on, we'll split up and find him. Hmm, for a dog that was so affectionate to us, he sure ran away from us pretty quickly, too. Maybe he didn't like who we were talking to? Well, he's all the way back down there. Isn't that where we kind of found him? No, no, we found him in front of the inn. Which, that is where we're going. Yeah, kind of back where we started. Sort of. <laughs> oh, you didn't half have me worried, you little rogue, you. How many times have I told you not to go running off like that? Well, would you look at that? Seems he found his owner all by himself. Not quite by himself, no. A couple it was. A great big burly bloke and a proper snooty looking woman. Wasn't so sure about them at first. They didn't seem exactly the do-gooder type. Oh. Didn't help that the big lad was covered in cuts and bruises either. But it turns out that was only because of the runaround this little devil gave him. Dag and Aren't Celine. you naughty, eh? <laughs> Ran off before I had a chance to thank them properly, they did. Proper mysterious, like. <laughs> anyway, that's enough excitement for one day. Come on, you, off to bed. <laughs> I guess all's well that ends well, huh? A great big burly bloke and a snitty woman, eh? Can't help thinking that sounds familiar. Anyway, that's the case of the lost wee doggy solved. Nice work, everyone. We didn't even do anything. It was Dag and Celine. Let's. Aw, I, I like I like them now. They've definitely redeemed themselves. Cats or dogs? Okay, guys. Here's a question for you: Cats or dogs? Uh, cats, I guess. But why do you even want to know? Oh, I'm just curious. That's all. It's no big deal. I'm a cat person too, by the way. I find them soothing somehow. Aye. Well, I'm a dog man all the way. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against a muggy. I just uh, seem to get on better with dogs. They're friendlier on the whole. Hey, cats can be plenty friendly too, when they're in the mood. It all depends on how you treat them. And what about you, Gloria? Which do you prefer? Oh, I'm more of a dog person. I used to have a little... It we all, in fact. Eh? I used to keep a cat back on the boat. Really? Can cats live at sea? Sure they can. And you need them too. How else would you keep the rats under control? Yeah, they're pretty good at that. You should have seen this one. I used to give her a treat every time she caught something. Huh, I like your thinking. Nothing crazy. Just a little fish or something. She got too old for it in the end though. Had to leave her back in port. Wonder how the old girl's doing. Aww. 
I'm definitely a cat person myself. Not that I mind dogs, but... I also just... I don't know if I have enough patience for how much attention dogs want. That's, I think, my biggest issue. Okay, so let's go up. I think we had that whole thing with Galahad, and we still have the painting contest to go that's uh, ongoing too. Oh, did I resume the ship thingy? I sometimes forget to start it. No, I did. Okay, good. I mean, the timer only goes up when... Oh, here's Martha. Oh, hey, Martha. What are you doing here? Hmm? Oh, it just had some business to attend to is all. What about you? What brings you lot by here? We came to meet someone. Do you know a big guy named Galahad? Oh, well, if it's Galahad you're looking for, he's gone to see the graves outside town. The graves? Yeah, his... his sister's buried there. Gladys. Wait, Gladys was Galahad's sister? Oh, sorry, I, I thought he might have mentioned it at some point. Their parents were both priests. They died when Gladys and Galahad were only little. Galahad was sent away to live with relatives in Wiswold, and Gladys stayed here. That must have been tough. Yeah, and now Gladys is gone too, and, well... I didn't have much choice but to tell him, but, oh, it was awful. Second I said it, he just burst into tears right there in front of everyone. Wow. I hope he's okay. Me too. We should go and check on him. Mm, poor Galahad. I had thought maybe that was kind of what was happening. But I had hoped it wasn't Gladys. I don't think we've gone up this way before. But we have two quests up in this area, so... Oh, it's just a little area out here. I wonder if there's like treasure chest or something in this area. Oh, there's Galahad. Mm. What? Wait, what, what just happened? I didn't see any monsters there. Our quest cannot end here. I, I can take it. Oh, no, no, um, no way. Not that one. Yet. Um. I. Um. 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 I'm. Um. I. 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 I was just trying to cut some grass. All I was doing was trying to cut some grass, and. Yeah, that, that kind of happened. Anyways, we're going to stay away from that little grass pile, because apparently it's got something bad in it. Bingo! This is perfect! What do you think? The view's something else, right? Yes, it's wonderful. I had no idea there were places like this so close to town. Oh, can you hear that? It's the lake saying, Paint me, please, Adele! Paint me! Uh, yeah. It's a pretty good spot. Well, shall we? Let's do this. Prepare to be a brushed princess. So, what kind of paintings did you used to do back home, Gloria? <laughs> Whoa, that's some serious concentration right there. Yup. I'd say we've successfully taken her mind off things for sure. There. All done. Wow, this is just amazing, Gloria. You have a real talent. Yeah. The scenery, the water. You captured it all perfectly. It almost looks real. I can't believe you're an amazing artist on top of everything else. Oh, no. I only ever learned the basics, honestly. All right, Adele. Show me what you got. Wait, is this even finished? What's that supposed to mean? Yes, it's finished. You don't like it? No, I... it's... Wait, it's kind of... abstract, right? That's why it looks this way? I think it's wonderful. And completely unique. Well done, Adele. Pff, whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Did all this painting take your mind off things or not? Oh, yes. 
I feel like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Thank you so much, Adele. Oh, I didn't really do anything. Wait, you're not sore about losing? No, the competition thing was just for fun. I've done what I set out to do. Now I guess it's time we were heading back. Sure, let's get going. Aw, oh, that was nice of Adele to do that for Gloria. The big brush off. Oh, we got a little party chat too. Art appreciation. So this is Gloria's painting, eh? Let's take a wee look. Crikey, this is good. They spared no expense teaching you, did they, your highness? Right? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I still can't quite believe how good you are, Gloria. Please, you're too kind. It's nothing really special. Well, look, compared to Adele's, it's, I mean, yours is kind of interesting too, Adele. And art's subjective and all, so... Oh, shut it, will you? You're just making it worse. Why don't I take a look, eh? Aye, it's nicely done, this. Really? I mean, you get it? Don't you, Elvis? Totally. I see where you're coming from with the whole thaumaturgical thing. Thauma what? Aye, there was an illustration just like it in one of my first magic textbooks. So, what's the message exactly? Oh, uh, heh. I guess it's kind of a metaphor for liberating the world from the clutches of evil? Aye, aye. Now I look closer, I can really see that. What? Come on, Adele, you totally just made that up. How dare you call my, proce or call my process into question, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's go have a chat with Galahad. Mm. Oh, Gladys. Gladys. If only I'd come home sooner. Galahad. Martha told me everything. How Gladys threw her life away because she felt so bad about what she'd done. How she was all alone, tortured by guilt, with no one there to help her. <sighs> Sorry. C can you leave me alone for a bit? We... We know you want to be by yourself right now, but... We were worried about... Go away, I said. Leave me alone. I guess nothing we say is gonna help when he's feeling like that. <sighs> Probably not. <sighs> Those who lost family to the judgments might not be able to forgive Gladys for what she did. But she helped people too, when Holograd invaded. Perhaps if we spoke with those she helped, we might learn something that would be of comfort to Galahad. Yeah. It's worth a try, at least. Hmm. That might not be a bad idea. Try to bring him some comfort. We're definitely going to stay away from that sandworm. We didn't even get a chance to do a single attack either. Like, it just killed my whole team. Um, I wanted to go to the place of High Holies and see if there was a quest there. I was kind of curious. Because sometimes they put stuff in these places. But there may be one after we finish Galahad's story. I don't know, maybe with Martha? Who knows? It doesn't look like there's anything here. So we have to go chat with a bunch of people. Looks like they're all down this way, though. Gladys was the one who dragged my wife off so they could put her on trial as a fairy. All because she missed one stupid town meeting. I told them she was sick, but no one would listen. They said the fact she couldn't face them all proved she was a fairy. I mean, I know Gladys was only doing what Helio told her, but is that really an excuse? Doesn't matter now, though. She got her just desserts. Mm, that's not a lot of uh, redemption in there. What is this? 
Oh, this is where we have to, like, look for stuff. Eh. Actually, you know what? Let me check here, because I wonder if... Um... If any of these we can actually do. That one we can. Let's track... Wait, switch objective. That one... We can't. It's in Wizwald. Yeah, so we're not doing that one. Wayward Merchant. We might be able to do that one? No, I think that one's in Wizwald, too. Well, we'll see. We can just definitely do the one, but not the other. The other two, rather. He would have some redemption for Galahad. Gladys and Galahad's parents were both priests. Very good priests. But then they got dragged into all the fuss over the fairies and the judgments and... Well... Oops. Gladys came to see it as the fairies' fault. With the help of Helio's honeyed words, of course. She can't be blamed for what she did. And bitterness and grudge-bearing will only bring us more pain. They certainly won't bring my Margaret back. Yeah. It's pretty... Some of the stuff in this game is pretty darn dark. Like, I don't know. It's... Yeah, not what I was expecting, to be honest. But anyways, we'll take a break here. Uh, next time, we'll uh, we'll probably be able to make our way to Halcyonia, I think. Um, and once we wrap up all the stuff here. But yeah, so as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.